Welcome to No Fabs. Hello everybody, thank you for tuning back in. First of all, or if you're new here, welcome to the channel. What's this channel all about? Well, we're a fabrication company who build exhaust systems for cars essentially. And that is exactly what this Fiat 500 is in for today. It's in for a stainless steel cat back exhaust system. That's exactly what we'll be doing on it. Customer has chosen carbon fiber tips, so we shall be having carbon fiber tips and it will look pretty smart and it will sound good by the time we've done. Let's have a little listen now, give you a quick before sound check of what it sounds like. Don't sound too good at the minute, I'll be honest. So not too bad, don't sound too bad, but it just don't sound great either. Customer is not a first customer of ours, he's been a returning customer for many years, we've done many cars for him, so he's brought it to the right place. So, let's get cracking. Let's have a little ganders then, what we've got up in air. So outer skin off the exhaust, completely corroded off. That's not so much of a problem, but it's also not ideal. It's not blowing, but I, I bet it's not far off. All the seams all fall into bits up here. Also, the uh, clamp is hanging on hopes and dreams. There's no clamp there anymore. It's just completely rotted away. So yeah, this is one rusty exhaust. It's ready. That one, uh, the anger will not be long before that falls off. Also, Flexi is knackered as well. It's ready for an exhaust, folks. It's ready. So we're gonna be going from this two bolt flange here. We're gonna be doing a two and a half inch system the entire way back all fresh stainless steel looking lovely jubbly so I suppose let's get get this one cut off and let's make a start firstly we're going to see if we can get these undone which will be uh, a miracle nothing short of a miracle if they come undone so please 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 don't snap oh, that took a lot of force to crack that off but it's gone come on baby don't snap on me now oh it feels horrible Oh, I think it's gone though. Right, let's get a bit of WD-40 on them. Let's try it gun. See if gun will rip them out for me. Come on, baby. Oh, you beauty. Oh, you beauty. Right, next up. Lander sensor. Let's see if this lander sensor will crack off as well. I'll be a happy man. Oh, I think it has as well. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Right, that's saved a bit of messing around. It's been nice to us. There's nothing worse than spending an hour drilling snap bolts out. So that's sweet. I've got another bolt here. What holds this middle section to gearbox? This one here, we'll take this out. They look to be bigger, that's, that's a 13 I think. Unbelievable, straight out, no dramas whatsoever. Absolutely no dramas. Right, all this is all loose. Now we need to work our way down the back. And I think we're gonna probably just cut that. So I can't be bothered trying to separate that. I think we're just gonna cut it. It'll be easier. All right, got my safety squints on. Let's cut it. That were easier than unbolting that and, well, I say unbolting it, there were nothing to unbolt, but trying to separate them two would have just been, yeah, a nightmare. And there, there's the mid pipe, all off. Now for the bike box. That's everything it looks on your own. Connor's gone out for dinner, I'm lifting that off on my own. Just whack me elbow, that hurt.
Right, all that's out of the way. Just need to pull these bits of hangers out, what fell off. And then I'm gonna see what size silencer works the best. We'll start mocking silencer up. Okay, so let me do my best to explain to you guys what we are gonna be doing with this silencer and the problems we face versus what we've got to get around. So it's a dual exit exhaust, so we need to have two outlets on this. And we also need to have one inlet, but the inlet is not in the center. The inlet needs to come in on the side and we also need to exit on the side. So you're probably thinking, how on earth are we gonna make it so both tips work, but with an inlet on the side? Well, it's quite simple and I'm gonna show you. You'll see I've got four exhaust caps. Now I'm gonna show you out of the box in a minute, but two of them are gonna go there. One's gonna go there. And then the other one's gonna be, we're gonna have holes drilled in this. This will be internal on the box. That'll be there like that. Then this one with only one hole in it, notice how that one's got two holes? Well, this one's only got one hole in it. That one will be welded in there like that. What that's gonna create inside is gonna create a dead zone. So let me try and draw it on here for you. So let me try and draw it to make it easy to understand. So imagine this is the plate and this plate has got two holes in it like that. The end plate here has also got two holes in it. Now these are gonna need to be made bigger, which we're gonna do that in a second. So don't worry about that. But the exhaust gas is going to come in here. This is perforated tube. Now that's going to be, let me write it so it's this way around for you. That's going to be 2.5 inch perforated tube. What's coming in there. And then the gas is going to be coming into this chamber. There's going to be another plate here. Now the gas is going to come into this chamber and it's going to be faced with a dilemma then. Where's it going to go then? Well, that's where the other plate comes in. The other plate's gonna be there, which will have another hole. And then there's gonna be, this plate is gonna go on this end. So here, you're gonna have perforated tube. And then here, you're gonna have perforated tube. But both of these will be two inch, not 2.5 inch. So 2.5 inch in, the gas will come into this center chamber. It'll be dispersed out of both of those two inch perforated tubes. So hopefully that makes sense to you. I can't think of a better way to explain it other than I will just make it and we'll show you how we do it. The plates, the holes will be drilled in this box and then the plates will be tacked in from the outside so you get nice gold welds on the outside, not any, if, I used to tack them in on the inside but what I found where it had burned through and you get an horrible brown oxidized layer. So we don't want that, so we're gonna tack it through. So I'm gonna wipe all this off because we do need to get some measurements. We need to make sure these plates are central because then all these parts will match up. So I'm gonna wipe that off and I'll get some measurements. So first thing we want a center line, we wanna know where the exact center of this box is. Well, it measures 40 centimeter, absolutely on the nose. So 20 centimeter is the dead center of our box. Now the chamber inside doesn't need to be massive. I'm gonna say probably one, two, three, four centimeters. One, two, three, yep. Yeah. One, two, three, four centimeters. So I'm gonna say that's gonna be the size of our chamber, that's gonna be the width. All the way inside that box is gonna be a chamber, which is plenty for this. Don't forget it's only a 1.4, even 2.5 inch on this exhaust is overkill. But, so now we're gonna drill two holes there and there, and then we're gonna basically draw a band all the way around there, and we're gonna drill various holes. There's gonna be one there, probably two more there, one on either edge, couple on back. There we go, holes drilled all the way around. That's what's going to be welded through to hold our center plates in. Happy days. Next problem is then the plates. We need one side hole to be 2.5 inch and then the other one to stay two inch. Quite simple how we're going to rectify it. We're going to use our expander and we're just going to expand one side. So we're going to set that to 2.5 inch, which is there. What that does is that stops the ram going any further. And just expand it. Simple as that really. Watch the magic happen. it bit by bit because you don't want to tear it so just literally gently bit by bit massage it and there we have a cap with a 2.5 inch inlet and then it'll be a two inch outlet easy really isn't it when you've got the right tools anyway next step then is we want the seam to the top so that's going to be the top side so we want to put one of the caps in now. This is where I like use two hammers. 
and you only want to knock it down to when it's just literally covering the holes. Once you get to the point where it's covering the holes, you know you're in the right spot. Difficult to get started. Right, now we use two hammers. So what I, say, what I mean by two hammers is we use the wooden half like that and I'm just tapping it with another hammer. Right, you can see there, see how we're covering that hole? This one's not quite perfect, so we're gonna have to get that one tacked and then we'll just sort of work our way around because again, that one's not perfect. But on this side, we've already gone a little bit too far. So you do have to fettle it a little bit, but we'll get it. Right, we're gonna tack that one in. So there, I've just tacked all them in with MIG. I usually do do this with TIG, I'll be honest, but Connor's busy, he's welding something up, so I've just blasted them in with MIG and I'll probably just blend them off with a flat disc. Uh, but sound. So that's that one in there. So now we need to do the other side one, but the other side one is just one of those with a small hole in it. Now the small hole needs to line up to the small hole in there. So the big hole needs to line up to a blank. Let's get that one in there as well. Now we're going to need some measurements, cut some perforated tube, get the perforated tube in, get the packing in there. Then we can put the other end caps on and yeah, we'll TIG around the ends of it. I'll probably blend them off. That'll be the sound to me. And that's how we do it. Just in case you ever did wonder how we did it, that's how we do it. Two and a half inch inlet through this hole and you will get even split out of both outer holes. You'll see they'll both work perfectly even. You'll get 50-50 split out of both of them. That's how we do it. Right, let's get it on car. So this will be finished tomorrow now as it's not the only job we've had in today. We've done another one this morning. Connor's just about finished welding that mid pipe up after I've made that silencer. So tomorrow we'll come back to this and we'll get it on the car. Day two, had a little bit of a ramp swap. Cause Carl needs that ramp for doing something else. Off of this, that under tray. I've had my ears lowered, fresh cut for a new day on the job. Right, so mid pipe is fully welded now. We're gonna get that mid pipe on here. Obviously the front pipe's all done. That's all welded. Mid pipe's all welded, just wants welding to flex here. That gets us all the way back to just above this axle here. And we're going to off at box up, we've got to get it off the mid pipe, into box, out at box, to them tail pipes. Should be fairly simple, see how we get on. All right, we're committed now, aren't we? That's mid pipe tacked in, look. Committed now. So before we start on back bit, I'm going to drop a couple of hangers on. One hanger there. Other hanger is there. We get both of them done, and then we'll start on this back bit. Just a straight night bend in there gets us pretty close. And with a quick measurement on that, I think move mid pipe across a little bit like that. And I reckon a 45 degree will get us pretty close. Might have to shorten this leg length down a little bit to bring that bend into that box a touch. It's quite close at spring. We might have to just bring it that way a bit. I reckon that's pretty close. Quite easy. Here's my 45. A little bit of a swage welded on. That's what's going to clamp to mid pipe. Now, if I'm right, I think this will be pretty close. So let's have a go together, shall we? Let's see if it'll go. And we'll get a mark on it. Oh, right. It's close. Oh, oh, there it is. There it is, folks. Got good clearance everywhere at that, and that just snapped together. Lovely. I'm a little bit closer to the spring than I like, so when I've got that tacked together, I'll probably just move the whole lot across a little bit. Just probably just sit box slightly off centre. But I'll tell you what, we'll take that. Look at it, I'm not even touching it, it's holding it's that good of a fit. We'll take that. Right, we'll get the over to the welding bench. We'll get them two tacked together. Oh, happy days. Right, let's get these tacked together. If they fit, we'll get them welded up. Connor and Carl have just gone for some snap. So once they've come back from dinner, we can start mocking that back bit up. There we go. 
That's pulled down nice. Merging lovely. Right, that's spotted together. In fact, I'm just going to trust it. I know it's right. I'm not even going to try it again. We're going to weld that now. We're going to get a wipe. And we'll get that set up for welding. A few moments later. And there we are, looking absolutely sick. Let's let it down and see what it sounds like. Let's let Connor chuck that tray on, under tray back on. And then yeah, let's have a listen, see what it sounds like. Don't run away, we are also gonna whip it down road. We'll get a road test, see what it sounds like on road as well. Not much louder than stock. <laughs> Still fairly quiet, that, isn't it? Yeah. So, customer did really want us to do a downpipe for it as well, but I haven't got the correct downpipe flange. So it was technically booked in for a turbo bike, so I only ended up having a cat back. Maybe we'll do a, uh, a bit of a revisit on this when we do downpipe on it. Maybe downpipe will make much, a much bigger difference. But yeah, in terms of sound, doesn't really sound all that much different from stock. Maybe a tiny little bit louder, but it sure looks nicer and well you all saw it condition at original one it was literally falling off so it's uh, it's not all bad news but we'll take it for a spin anyway see what it's like on road and just because i want to have a little joy ride in it so we'll do that so they are nippy little things these um let's go and see what it's about slightly disappointing the exhaust doesn't sound all that much louder mm. it's, the box is not really that big so hopefully when he comes back for a downpipe, hopefully the downpipe will make a difference. Tell you what, it's stiff, isn't it? Crap. Yeah. Do you know about shaking my teeth out? It's a stiff little thing. Let's go and see if it's actually any, if it's fast or if it's, uh, if it's slow. They're fast, these, aren't they? <laughs> little go-karts, aren't they? <laughs> There's a bit of noise, nice little pop then. There's a little bit of noise, but slightly disappointing it. Like if if I were to make another one of these and they wanted it loud, like I'm not too sure the owner of this is gonna want it loud. It's a bloke called John. We've done an exhaust room before, but I'm led to believe this is his missus's car. So she's probably not gonna to wanna to drive around with it blaring loud anyway. Um, but yeah, I think if anyone had one of these and they wanted it loud, I think we'd just put a small round yeah. mid box in it. You like them safety glasses? Oh. <laughs> That's one quite a bit. Yeah, I don't think it needs any box, me. No. Small. Not, not if you're keeping kind. No small box. round mid box. If you were to what a louder yeah. version than this. This is a seems to be a fairly subtle version. I've, I think I've only ever made one or two of these before, and the the last one I did, I made it exactly like this. And it sounds all right, but it just needed to be a little bit louder. Yeah. No, Get out of my way. way. They are pretty fast, these. <laughs> Shift, doesn't it? Yeah. Feels a bit sketchy though, once it's so small and so stiff. It does seem a little bit sketchy. So, the roundup of this video, exhaust. Although it looked beautiful and a lot of work went into it, it's not actually all that loud. It's fairly, fairly subtle sounding. But it's not all end of the world. Like I say, it needed an exhaust either way. The exhaust was falling off. But it's not end of planet. It does sound all right. Yeah, it, does. it does sound. I bet that sounds better than stock. So fast forward a couple of weeks and we are back with the little Fiat again. It did come back. We did do the downpipe on it. I think it sounds all right. It sounds quite good with the downpipe on it, but it didn't make a massive difference. Now the customer is wanting it louder. They're not unhappy with it, they just said that they, they wanted it louder than that, so I was, I was a little bit pissed, I would like, to be fair. 
if you want something loud, just tell me. Just say, look, I want it loud, and then we could have we could have made the exhaust a little bit different. I probably wouldn't have put a bike box in it at all. I probably would have just put a centre resonator in it, 12 inch long down the middle. That would have made it long. Also, by the way, you'll have to excuse me. I'm full of cold. Just got back off holiday, and I can barely breathe. So if I'm talking like spud off Bob the Builder. That's why. I'll give you a little sound clip of it now, what it sounds like with the downpipe on and the rest of the exhaust. Problem is now we're in a bit of predicament because they want to make it louder. So I gave him three options really. Option one is we essentially cut the back box open and we remove some of the packing, which is the option what they're liking. Option two was we add a valve to it, which would be fairly easy, but they're not really bothered about that. Option three would be just we just back box delete it all together and just run it straight pipe. But I think that'll be crazy loud. We're going to be running for option uh, option one, gutting some packing out of the back box or a back box delete. So either way, we're going to have to take it off. I think we'll take it off, start it, see what it sounds like. If it's incredibly loud, we'll probably just be cutting the box open, removing some packing, essentially making it less effective. Anyway, let me give you a little sound clip what it sounds like now with the downpipe. So yes, it does sound nice, but it's just not loud enough for them. So let's get up in air. Let's take the back box off. Let's then start it with back box off. Let's see how insanely loud it is. And we'll go from there. So here we are, two weeks or so down the line, maybe a little bit longer. I don't know what they've been doing. It looks like they've been uh, doing a rally stage. <laughs> it's like a rally stage down, all muck on it. But anyway, yes, so it did have a downpipe. It does have now a three inch downpipe on there into a 2.5 inch cap back. And as you've heard, it's still fairly quiet. I would have made this a hell of a lot different if they'd have told me they wanted it loud. I would have just put a 12 inch round silencer in there and no back box. As I say, we're in a bit of a predicament now. We don't know exactly which route to go to make it louder. So we're gonna drop this back box off and then we're gonna start car. If it's insanely loud, then we're gonna cut this back box open on the top side, remove some packing, essentially make it less effective than it is and it should give us a little bit more noise option one or option two let's see which one we end up going for stack it off see what happens right here goes oh it's loud that that's loud Absolutely not. That sounds too loud, too raspy. Kill it. So there we go. That's made that decision for us. That sounds too loud, too raspy. I can just tell you instantly, driving that up road will sound like a trumpet. So it's looking like... I hate doing this stuff, but we're going to have no choice. So we're going to have to essentially cut a little square in that chamber, a little square in that chamber, pull some packing out, and uh, we're going to have to weld those holes back up as neatly as we can. We'll make a neat job of it, but it's just it's a little bit cowboy. But please, guys, if you do know that you're booking your car in and you want it loud, if you tell me, it just saves all this hassle to start with. But here we are. Let's get it done, and then it's done, in it? But confirmed that that is way too loud. I know they're not going to want it that loud. Definitely not. Let's do it. Let's cut this up and see what, I, see what we can do. So let's start by giving it a little wipe because, like I say, it looks like it's been doing a rally stage with it. Let's give it a wipe so we can see where his chamber were. If you were watching earlier on in the video, you saw how we made the silencer. So here we've got two plates welded on the inside. So we essentially want to cut this and this, and we're going to pull some of the packing out of either side of it. You know, we need to make a neat job of this because we don't want to ruin a nice job. See, we've got access to the packing that we put in there. So we want to make this silencer less effective. So we're simply just going to, I'm not going to remove all of it, but I'm going to remove a fair bit of it. Because I still want this exhaust to have some tone. I don't want it to sound like a bean can. So we are just going to remove some of it, not all of it. Right, so I've removed 
a lot of it, not all of it. Like I say, if I take all of it out, it might sound too tinny and horrible. So I am going to leave a little bit of that in there, just to deaden it a little bit. So we'll simply close that flap now. Oops, pushed it a bit too much, but you get the drift. We'll wipe that down, TIG weld that up. That'll be a nice, neat job. Repeat the exact same on this side. Try not to make a bollocks of this, let's try and make it a nice repair. Well, not repair, modification, let's call it. Let's try and make it a nice one. We'll start by just packing it. And there we go, as I say, not something I enjoy doing. You can see the welds are nice, the welds are respectable. It's really not that easy to weld two squares <laughs> on that. The only issue I don't like is as you can see, you get a lot of distortion, it does distort the box a lot, but it's on the top, you're never gonna see it. And it's the best of a bad situation. I suppose there's one less thing to do, isn't there? Let's get it on the car, see if it's actually made a difference. Right, here it goes. Right, it's definitely louder. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely perfect. The only one problem I've noticed though is because we've gutted the boxes, the way that the silence designed, the left tip is now the more dominant tip. So you Earlier in the video, I was showing you how we get a perfect 50-50 split. Now, because I've kind of gutted the internals out, left tip is more dominant than the right tip. It's still working, because I can still feel gas coming out of it, but the left one's definitely working more, which is a byproduct of what we've done. Sound-wise, though, woo, absolutely perfect. Nailed that, they'll be happy with that. A minute, I've just got this BMW in the way, which I need to weld a wheel on. Once I've welded a wheel on that, we'll take that out for a spin, and we'll see what it sounds like now we've modified it. Right then folks, let's, uh, let's go and give this the second road test of the video. Let's see if we've actually made it louder. It's definitely louder. Uh, I think this is going to be it now. I think this is going to be as good as we can get this to sound. We've struggled a little bit, I'm going to get this one to sound, sound nice. It's alright going full loud. Making it sound loud would be, uh, would be no problem, but making it sound, sound a nice loud is a different thing altogether. Yeah, it's definitely louder, there's no doubt about that. It's definitely louder. We're gonna get a proper spin though. Oh God, they're so stiff. So yeah, anyone who's been to our yard will know how bumpy it is and it's this thing, Joffy, <laughs> absolutely rattles your teeth together. So stiff. I suppose that's why they handle so good. Because they are little go-karts. Yeah. It's a lot louder, a lot. It actually sounds nice as well. It's not really trumpety. It's actually got a nice little tone. It gave a little pop off then as I change gear. It's, that's nice, that really nice. We'll get on bypass and make sure things haven't changed, make sure it doesn't drone and all that stuff. I do apologize again, guys. Um, obviously at the time now, this is a couple of weeks after we filmed the original part. It's all gonna be the same video. I'm gonna mash it all together into the same video. So there'll be no gap for you guys. But from now is two weeks ago-ish from, uh, when we originally built the exhaust system. Connor, me and Connor have just got back off all day. Also, to answer a question, somebody commented saying, are you and Connor related? Connor is my younger brother. If, in case any of you never know, he is, yeah, Connor's my younger brother. So we have just been on a, a great big family holiday. Um, we tend to do it like every year where we're, everybody, including grandparents, we all go away. So we've just been to Turkey. That's why I'm full of cold. Just come back from 28 degree temperature to about nine in UK and uh, I don't know why my body I just instantly get cold the second I step off plane so apologies if my enthusiasm throughout this video towards the end has not been as good it's because I feel like absolute death that's why I feel I feel poorly <laughs> but I'm still here 
Still on the graft. I'm still bringing the, the content for you guys. If you're wondering why Connor's not here, uh, he is here, he's at work. He's, um, we've just got a busy day on today, that's all. We've got a, uh, a really old car in at the moment. Connor's just finishing that up because customer's waiting. So he's an old boy and he needs to get off. So Connor's um, just going to get that welded up now, wrapped up while I finish the road test on this, I suppose, and get this video wrapped up for you, boys and girls. If everyone gets out of my way, we'll be able to get some welly. Yeah, you wait there. I just nearly had an head-on collision. All right, let's get into third gear and see what she sounds like. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not obnoxious. I said that, it's not obnoxiously loud. If we was to delete the back box, like I obviously was an option, I do believe it would not have sounded nice. It would, not with a decat anyway. It would have sounded too much. I don't know how, how good you guys can hear it on camera. You can probably just hear a lot of wind noise. There is a lot of wind noise. It's got wind deflectors on it. Why do people like wind deflectors? They just, they should be called, well, I think the only reason they're called wind deflectors is because they create wind noise. Awful things they are terrible anyway let's uh let's get it in top gear and see if there's any drone that's what everyone's interested in no one wants a droney exhaust do they gets right on your nerves when it's just constantly don't think this will be it's fairly quiet still at cruising speed <coughs> excuse me Ooh, lovely little crack on gear change don't know if you heard that, but it sounds sick. Oh, why is everyone in way? Come on, out me way. Everyone's in way. So, drone wise, fifth gear, it's only a five speed gearbox. 75-ish, a little bit less. There is absolutely zero drone from this exhaust. Zero. More road noise than there is exhaust drone. Can't even hear the exhaust. That's how good that is. That's a perfect setup in my opinion. That is absolutely spot on. So, boys and girls, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. As you can see, I wouldn't say I struggled. We, we kind of did, didn't we? I mean, I, I did and I didn't. If the customer had told me right off the bat, said, yes, I want this car loud, I would have made this exhaust very different. It would have just had one round silencer down the middle. Um, so I haven't struggled. If I didn't, <laughs> if I'd have known what the customer wanted off the bat from the get-go, I'd have, I'd, have, I'd have nailed it first go. But because we obviously made it too quiet, then it becomes a problem to make it louder again. I'm not happy that we've had to cut the exhaust silencer box. I, I don't want to say it's cowboy, it's not. But... <sighs> Yeah, I just I would have preferred not to, if you understand what I mean. I would have preferred not to cut the silencer box. I mean, <laughs> I gave the customer the option. It's their money at the end of the day. What more can I say? Thanks for watching, guys. I do really appreciate you. I'm seeing a lot of names popping up, same guys. Um, yeah, I just just like to say thank you to you guys, top fans. Always commenting on my videos, always showing the support. <laughs> as it happens, most of them are strangers as well. It's usually how it goes in business, isn't it? You find that um, a stranger will become your number one fan before uh, before your boys type thing. But I'm not knocking my, my pals. I've got a lot of good pals who do also support my channel as well. But yeah, I know a lot of you guys out there are strangers and constantly rooting for me, always commenting on my videos. Appreciate all you, honestly. I really, really do. And hopefully one day you get to come down with your car and we can have a chat and make a video on your car, something like that. Peace out, guys. We'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.